Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together. You know, one of the important things about Islam that it is the most entertaining, stupid book ever you can imagine. And it doesn't matter what book we are talking about because both of them, they are the books of Muhammad. Quran is made by Muhammad, Hadith is made by Muhammad and what they wrote about him. A Muslim, he sent a question to a sheikh and those sheikh, he sheikh, they are the one who can answer your questions as long it is silly like as an example ask the sheikh can i shave underarm the sheikh he is going to be so happy and excited to give you all the answers you need you can ask the sheikh hey, is it halal to eat ice cream with my fiance because i'm afraid if we drink from the same milk or we eat the same milk she became forbidden for me <laughs> what a stupid religion but if you ask a serious question, the sheikh will rip you off a pieces and he will claim that you have a problem. Here a Muslim, he asks question, asking the sheikh, how Allah he descend every day in the third part of the night? And why? And there's different time zone in the earth. So Allah keep coming up and down. And the Muslim now, the Muslim sheikh is going to answer this poor Muslim who decide to think and use his brain. Listen to the question and listen to the answer and die laughing. And by the way, we have a link for to give a credit to the shake, the shaky shake and the info in case uh, you want to see it. For sure, we will not play the whole video, just a short part of it, but you can watch the whole thing and die laughing where he gave no answer. Moez says regarding a hadith, in which is said of Allah descending to the lowest heaven when one third of the night remains. I'm a little confused about it. The time when one third of the night remains varies from one place to the other. Does Allah descend to the lowest heaven multiple times? So notice what is the question. The question, Allah he descend every night in the third part of the night. But this is very from different place to other. This is the question. Now listen to the answer and die laughing. Because time varies in different parts of the world. Muez, your question is quite disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is disturbing, brother. <laughs> How dare you to question the stupidity of Muhammad? Because obviously, Muhammad, he think all the earth have one time zone. How, how, how dare you? Your question is, uh, how you do that? How you do that? Your question is disturbing, man. Your question is... <coughs> quite disturbing. Mm -hmm. The reason is that you are comparing Allah Azza wa Jal to us humans. Huh? The hadith is authentic without any doubt. Allah Azza wa Jal descends to the lower heaven when the last third of the, the night is due. And Allah says, is there anyone seeking forgiveness so I would forgive him? Is there anyone asking me so that I would give him? Is there anyone supplicating to me so that I would answer him? This is authentic. There's no doubt in that. But the problem is that you're comparing Allah's descent to ours. <laughs> Hold on. You know, if Allah is saying he descent, I mean, descent, he descent, you idiot. Who is comparing to who? It's Allah who's comparing his descent. He is the one who say he descend. As long as he descend, this means he go down. This is the language. It's a, it's a clear Arabic language. You descend. So the problem is you are comparing. But this is, this is not the question, even you idiot. The question is how he descend in the third part of the night. He is not asking you about how he descend. And here you try. You see how they try to avoid the question which is very embarrassing, and he says clearly it's a quite disturbing, for this is exposing the fiction stories of Muhammad, 
who he and his God is one, trying to com to, co to 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 like uh, 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 to convince us that the Earth is a flat and we have one time everywhere. The guy is asking you how Allah he come down in the third part of the, 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 the of the night. Uh, uh, but there is many th third part of the night. Does that mean Allah he will keep going up and down? This is the question. And now instead of answering the poor Muslim. He is making fun of him, humiliating him, and giving him no answer. And what the answer? Are you comparing Allah to us? <laughs> and this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Allah says, "Laysa kamithlihi shay." There is nothing like him. So what does have to do with this? Ain't nothing like me too. According to science. There's nothing like even every drop of his, every floor of snow is different from the other one. Does that mean the snow is God? But what does have to do with this? They, they copy from the Old Testament. Old Testament says nothing like God. They copy it from there. And now any question you ask them about their stupid religion, what the answer? You cannot compare with that. Nothing like Allah. What does have to do with this? Nothing like Allah or nothing is is Allah who care where is the answer so now he will speak for the coming 10 minutes humiliating the guy calling him all kind of stupid names this disturbing doesn't make sense you are not you, you know you should not compare we cannot compare this is attribute of Allah is not like our attribute but what do you mean that not like our? you just said Allah he come down every third of the night and then he will say to us Allah is all hearing if Allah is all hearing, why then he need to go down so he can get close and hear us? And he is the most, the more, and he is the most hearing and seeing. He is the most hearing and seeing, but yet he cannot see me unless he go down. Get it closer, closer, closer. Do you see me now? No. Get it closer, closer. Closer, Primo. Do you see me now? Still no. Okay, get it closer. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Allah is all hearing, all seeing, but yet he need to descend every third part of the night. And what the purpose of this journey? <laughs> who is who is praying to me? How he is all hearing, but he cannot hear you unless he go down to the first heaven, which means he have to pass seven heavens going down to the earth. All the way to the lowest heaven, which according to Islam, where the star is. How he is all hearing, but he cannot hear you. How he is all seeing, but he cannot see you unless he go down. Otherwise, you tell me what the purpose of this story. And then you can watch the video. The rest of the video is the same. Allah is all hearing, brother. But do you think Allah hearing is like us? <laughs> you know, like this this guy remind me when I debate I was debating a, a sheikh. Uh, uh, his name is Dr. Nabil Baikli. I don't know if you heard of him. He is the head of the Islamic Center of uh, Tennessee. And he have with him Imam of a mosque, his name Malik Sar. So both of them they are supposedly be going to answer a Christian prince. So when I asked him about Allah he have a shin. You can watch, go watch it, the debate. I mean, it's, it's there. You can search it on YouTube. He said to me, Christian Prince, yes, Allah, he have a shin. But do you think the shin of Allah is like yours? <laughs> the shin of Allah is not like yours, Christian Prince. <laughs> Let me close the blind. Otherwise, my neighbors, they might think I'm crazy, laughing like crazy. What is this, man? What is this? How Allah, he go down in the third part of the night. When there is many third part of the night, this is the question. The answer, your question is disturbing. This is remind me of Umar al-Khattab. When a Muslim, he asked him a question about Islam. Do you know what Umar he did? He did beat the hell of him. He brought a piece of wood, have nails on it. And he start beating him, beating him, beating him, and entered the guy. He cannot stand and can't move. Because he's asking questions about Islam. And then after that, everybody learned that should not dare to ask questions. This guy now is speaking to somebody over the internet. He cannot beat him up. How this is, can be a religion? 
and how Allah is all hearing, but yet he need to take a flying carpet, like the carpet of Solomon, which is mentioned in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, all of this is from the fiction stories of Muhammad, the idiot. Allah, he gave the command of the wind to Sulaiman. And this command, go under his flying carpet and carry him for a distance of one month journey. If we ask now the Muslim Muhammadan, the shaky sheikh, Allah, he gave Suleiman a flying carpet, can carry 600,000 chairs, all his kingdom, all his army. It can carry all the way from the size, from the borders of Jerusalem, all the way to the Babylon. This is how small the flying carpet is. Which nation they witnessed that flying carpet in the sky in the history? Which nation they mentioned that, which book? Did Suleiman himself describe to us his flying carpet? I mean, imagine you have a flying carpet in such a way, even if it's one meter size, and you don't write about it. So here we go, we have the writing of Suleiman. But we don't say, we don't see anywhere there Suleiman. He said, I used to have a flying carpet. If we go and read the interpretation for this funny verse, chapter 21, verse number 81. <clears throat> I mean, we downloaded the browser supposedly because it doesn't it, like it protect us from advertising. And look, they keep sending me those advertising eBay and this garbage. We take them off, they put it back. All right. So if we go now to the Quran interpretation and see what happened exactly in this story, Suleiman, he have what exactly? Is it really a flying carpet, brother? Ah, we will see. You look like it. And maybe maybe Christian Prince is lying. Maybe it's not a flying carpet. Maybe it's at a point seven 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 seven. It's a huge one. <clears throat> uh here we go. Let us see where the flying carpet. Let us start from here. We subjugated the mountains and the bird to glorify our praises along with Dawood. Okay. Dawood, brother, when he sing, the birds, they start singing to. And they are saying, Allahu Akbar. And the mountains too. And then the mountains respond with echo. Like David, he says, Allahu Akbar, 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 Akbar. David, he says, Takbir, beer, 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 beer. That's so beautiful. And then Look at this one. <laughs> the Muslims understand the songs of David as they are a musical instrument. David, he used to be. <laughs> so, and this man has been one of the wind instrument. Between two bracket, nice voices. But doesn't say that in the Quran. It says wind instrument. But isn't it the one who says that the one who plays music, Allah will punish him, send him to hell in the hadith? So how comes Suleiman, or oh sorry, David, he have, uh, <laughs> but anyway, let us go here. He jumped from David and now he jumped to Suleiman. Well, Suleiman, even the Suleiman here written by the way wrong. You don't try Suleiman in such a way. This is stupid Arabic, but here we go. Hmm. And they will say to you, do you speak good Arabic Christian prince? You don't speak good Arabic. Yeah. Suleiman, this is how you write Suleiman. This is how we write Suleiman? Ah, okay. 
And Suleiman, we subjugated the wind strongly ragging. Means we subjugated strong wind to Suleiman. What does that mean? Running by his command toward the land which we pleased. Meaning land of Asham. But the guy, he lived there. What do you mean? <laughs> the guy is... Allah, he gave me a flying carpet, can fly me and take me to where I live. I'm, I am, I live there. Anyway, and then he says, it's meaning it was a month journey and it's afternoon a month. So when Suleiman, he fly in the top of flying carpet, by noontime or afternoon, it's a journey of a month, a distance of a month of this distance of the camel. But think about it. So, how slow this flying carpet? I mean, come on, this is so slow. A distance of one man journey. I mean, <laughs> a Boeing Boeing 777 can do way better. And then, uh, but uh, but here, uh, by the way, uh, I don't know, they took, they took the interpretation. What is the interpretation? They took it off. You see in Arabic, it should say, he used to have a mate and it goes, oh, here we go, hold on, hold on. Ah, here we go. He had a mate made of wood in which he placed would place all the equipment of his kingship. <laughs> the tanks, the missiles, the marines. I mean, everybody, everyone. Everybody on the flying carpet, we are going to do invasion. And then everything jumped in the top of a piece of wood which is so huge, can carry 600,000 chairs, all his ministers and his army, his horses, his kingship, his servants, his camels, his tents, his troops, all in the top of flying carpet. And then he command the wind to carry it. And then the wind come from under the, 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 the flying carpet and he fly. So the wind it carry to carry it, he would go, it would go underneath of it and would carry him aloft. And by the way, Muhammad he mentioned that Suleiman he used to have a horse. Okay, why he have a horse? And this horse he fly. Anyone knows why he used to have a horse who fly? I mean, look, look like Solomon. He was <laughs> his specialty was a spaceship. <laughs> flying horse flying carpet so a man one day he got upset so he slaughtered his horse Oof. I mean this guy he have a flying horse and he slaughtered it and by the way this is a true story my grand grand grandfather he used to have a donkey who used to fly too and he slaughtered it too. Any Muslim is listening? This is your Quran. You know, the funny the Muslim they say to us, Quran is full of science. And this is the science of the Quran. Do you see it? Who is a Muslim have a who is a Muslim want to say to us that doesn't say that, CP? Oh, who is a Muslim want to do it, video editing, CP? Are we lying? Or this is your books? How a human being in the 20, 21st century believe in such a garbage? And not only that. You see, Suleiman, not only he go to the space by a flying carpet, but he have a special division they do diving. Anyone who know who knows what who dive for Suleiman? Who is the divers? Who knows? Anyone knows? Who dive for Suleiman to get him jewelries? Who dive for him? Anyone remember? I mean, all those stories are true stories. So now Suleiman, he have divers, additional, yeah, divers. They dive in the ocean. Who are they? Anyone remember? 
Satan, Satan's brother, Satan's they work for Sulaiman, brother. Come on, women as Shayateen, even Shayateen. Look how it's written. Many a Rosuna Lahu, they died for him, and Shaitan, they were some who died for him, means they died into the water to retrieve pearls and jewels, etc., etc., brother, for him, brother. I mean, this is true. It's obvious. I mean, how Suleiman he got so rich? Hello? <laughs> Where he got all those jewelries? Hello? <laughs> it, isn't it obvious? Satan, brother, Satan, hey, Mr. Satan, are you, do you work, work? Satan, can you give me your resume? Uh, Shaitan, what is that, Shaitan? It says you were employee of uh, of Solomon. Yes, I was. Really, what do you do for him? I used to die for him. Oh, you die for Suleiman? Yes, I do. And what do you do there? I used to take pictures of women with the bikini. Are you serious? <laughs> Allah joking. <laughs> I used to die for him. Uh, in the water, additional to talking at the women with the bikini, I used to die for jewelries. Uh, Shaitan, and do you get him a lot of jewelries? A lot of jewelries. And what should he want he do with it? He sell it to eBay. At that time, there was eBay. <laughs> yes, different eBay. It's called SatanEbay.com. I mean, it's a true story. So Suleiman, he have millions of shaitan and what they do every morning they dive in the ocean they will not be allowed to come back unless their pocket is full of jewelries true story and not only that additional to that they do other work beside shaitan i see in your resume it says you do other work beside diving for Suleiman. what is that uh, sometime I clean his toilet seat. Okay. Sometime I clean his boogers. To clean what? His boogers in his nose. Uh, okay. Uh, sometime I beat up his mother-in-law. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense, actually. That's actually it's uh, like a good job. It sounds like a very useful shaitan you are. Yes, I was very useful for him. So, can you count for us things you used to do in the side of diving, like what exactly you used to do? Can you give us some examples, you know, what... Uh, I wash dishes. Oh, really? He don't have servants? Oh, no, this is different kind of dishes. Like what? Satellite dishes. What? Satellite dishes. So, a man, he used to have satellite dishes. Yes, he used to have. Oh, why he have it? So he can receive signal from Allah. Uh, okay, uh, that makes sense. And uh, what happened additional to diving? I heard that Suleiman, he used to use you for building too. Exactly. I have actually my cousin who used to build for Suleiman mansions. Oh, your cousins? Really? Are you sure from that? Yes, it says that in the Quran. And also Shaitan every kind of builder if, if 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 not only they are builders from every kind of builders chimney builder wall builder cooking top builder oven builder i mean you name it true story so they are builders they are divers and guess what others are bond in fitters what does that mean and other shaitan they are chained he put a chain around their hands he put them in jail shaitan why Suleiman he put them in jail Suleiman he was very aggressive with us so when we are lazy or not doing our job or we have no job, he put us in chains in the basement. Oh, okay. And uh, like, uh, do we do that every day? 
Yes, he do it every day. I can show you. What do you want to show me? He put a chain around my neck and around my arms, and even he put a chain around my tail. How he can put it around your tail? Well, he is very smart. He tied it up with it. This is Islam. This is the religion you want us to believe that this is from God. Hmm? And then he continued. <clears throat> and it was we who guarded them. Oof, 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 oof. Suleiman, he put them in the chain, but Allah, he guard them. Because they will not run. <laughs> shaitan, they are shaitan. Hello. <laughs> Very evil. They can run, brother. <laughs> so Allah guard them. And Al-Meen, Allah protect him, lest any of those shaitan did harm, any harm to him. Makes sense. I mean, come on. All of them were subjugated to his control and donation, and none of them would have dared to approach him. Mean shaitan. Have you ever tried to like dare to approach Suleiman? I will never do that. He is scary. I saw him once. He punished us. What he did? He ate our ice cream. Really? This is how he punished you? And even more. So once, you know, he ate my baklava because I dared to approach him. And since then, I don't do it anymore. That's that's true story. I mean, Suleiman was Ali Baba and the 40 thieves, baby. He go in the cave and they say, open your sum sum, sum sum, you know, the password. And then the cave open. And there they have shaitan. And then a brother, <clears throat> He could not set free or detain whoever among them he wish he wished. That's it. He was in charge of them. And if he would, if he want, he could set free anyone. So Suleiman is in charge. If you like to set you free and you are a shaitan, Suleiman he will set you free. Hey Shaitan, you go free. You go vacation, you die. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy I'm not going to keep you for long just I wanted to share some comedy with you you know in China they say he left as a donkey he never came back as a horse and that is Muhammad Muhammad the donkey he did live between the Jews he heard the stories they tell it to their own children's fiction stories Muhammad the fool he took it he put it in the Quran he believed in it to be true why because he's a fraud he thought to himself, well, those are Jews. They will not tell me something that is true. It must be true. Otherwise, why they treat their children? Hello? He took it as it is. He put it in the Quran. And now we have God. His name is Allah. Tell us those stories. Now, next episode, we will tell you about how Suleiman, who is protected by Allah. I want you to take a note. <clears throat> Does it say here, Allah protect him, least any of shaitan do any harm to him? Does it say that? Guys, does it say that? In the coming episode, we want to show you how Mr. Shaitan, he steal the ring of Solomon, and then he do boom boom to all the wives of Suleiman. I mean, look how stupid this book. How the Quran says, وَكُنَّا لَهُمْ حَافِظِينَ Which is written wrongly in the Quran. This is how not you write half a lean. Uh, but they will say to you, as long as Allah, he write it this way, it's correct. That's it. Allah, he protect Suleiman that shaitan would do any harm. And then later we see <laughs> that shaitan, look, this is what happened. I will give you a summary of the story. Suleiman, he made a mistake. When he go to the bathroom, he is, it's not allowed, brother, to take the ring with him. The wrong, the ring, the ring, you know the ring? How many of you watch Harry Potter? 
be peace upon him. How many of you watch it? Hori Putter or the Lord of the Ring? Did you watch it? Guess what? The Lord of the Ring is exist in the Quran, in the book of Muhammad. Brothers and sisters, how Allah he knew about it. That's amazing. Brother, Suleiman, he go to the bathroom, brother. He give his wife her name Jarada, which means Lactus, the insect. He gave her the ring. Shaitan, brother. He come to his wife in the shape of Solomon. And he tell her, give me the ring. I am Solomon. He look like him. Look like in Islam, it's a normal story. Everybody taking the shape of somebody else, like what happened to Jesus. So the wife, she gave the ring to the fake Suleiman, which is Shaitan, brother. And then, brother, Shaitan, he put the ring in his hand. And the second he put the ring in his hand, he controlled the kingdom of Suleiman. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. And then right away, Shaitan, he go to the bedroom of Suleiman. And he order all the wives of Suleiman to take off their panties. And he start doing that again, that again, that again, that again. Non-stop. That again, that again, that again, that again. That again, 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 that again. And then, how the wives of Suleiman, they discover this is going to be Suleiman. Like, hello, <laughs> it's obvious. <laughs> the wives, they notice that Suleiman's sexual activities is so strong. This guy never have enough brother of boom, boom. So they said to themselves, this is going to be our husband. Our husband, he cannot even do it once. What happened? This guy, he never stop. He don't even go to the bathroom to take a break. One after one, one after one, one after one. And then he go again. True story, brother. True story. Muhammad said, brother. So we will tell you the rest of the story in the coming episode. Don't forget to download this video. We will not keep it for long. We will take them down in a few hours from now. So download it, share it with your friends. And we will continue the story and by the way anything we say we have to show your reference so the this part with which we do not show your reference the end because we will speak about it in the coming episode it's like a movie series <laughs> series prophet Solomon, how his wife get like a, a what they call it bang bang by shaitan i mean aren't you disgusted muslims you claim that Suleiman is a prophet of allah and you claim that Allah protected Suleiman from Shaitan. Even it says that here. It says here, 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 in front of you. وَكُنَّا لَهُمْ حَافِظِينَ So how Allah, he says, and we are protecting Suleiman from Shaitan. And then we find in the story that Shaitan did boom, boom to the, his wives. And not only that, he throw Suleiman, the true Suleiman, from the, from the palace. And not only that, Suleiman became a putter. He carried garbage and stuff for people in the street. I mean, imagine Allah, he protect his prophet to the point shaitan was doing boom, boom to his wives. I mean, if this is the protection of Allah, thank God I don't have protection of Allah. Who of you want to have protection of Allah, Muslims? Because obviously the one who has protection of Allah, his wife will be having a lot of boom, boom with shaitan. Download the video, share it with your friends. And we just shared with you some of a few, of many, of millions of stupid stories of the stupid Muhammad. I challenge you Muslims to find me more stupid than your prophet. And then I will take uh, a certification of his stupidity from in front of his name. Because I cannot find someone more stupid than your prophet. 
And I'm not going to say more stupid than Allah because Allah doesn't exist. It's not even fair to say Allah is stupid. Muhammad the donkey, he used Allah as a name to fool the donkeys. And who is the donkey who want to believe in this garbage? Actually, donkeys they will not believe. You don't have to be genius. Flying carpet. Shaitan died for him. Shaitan sleep with his wives. Suleiman have a ring, control the world with it. Suleiman lose the ring. And guess how Suleiman, he got the ring again. Oh, I cannot burn the movie and tell you the story from now. <laughs> we have to leave it for the coming episode. So maybe tomorrow, I hope, we can go live on air and we continue telling you about how Suleiman, he got back the ring after he lost it and he lost his kingdom. If you have a ring, brother, controlling the earth, like the ring of the, the, the Lord of the ring, never give it to your wife when you go to the bathroom. It's a very bad mistake. Don't do the same mistake of Solomon. He did the mistake he should not do again. And by the way, uh, which one of them is Solomon? I'm not sure. And uh, hmm. That is that Allah or something there? I mean, the ring, I see the ring, and then I see, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's very, I, I know actually the, 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 the Muhammadan, they should sue uh, the one who made this movie because it looked like he took the story from uh, Muhammad. There's a lot of similarity here. Ring, wing, Sting, and, and by the way, this guy, he was, I mean, if you look at his face, I think this has happened to him after he heard the story, one of the stories of Muhammad. He lost his hair, his teeth, they start dropping, his ears getting bigger. I mean, this is what happened to you. Actually, when I was telling him the story about Muhammad, he was looking at me like, what? Like, are you serious? You know? Like, hello? That cannot be true. So, like, what? Like, he, like, take, a, take a close shot. When I told him about the version in the beginning, he don't want to listen to me. He don't want to convert to us now. But I told him you will get versions. He looked like, what? I will get versions? And then he like all, all, like he's all over with the attention. He's listening now. And then I told him that the prophet of Allah will make your penis endless. So he like, like what? Me? I'm so small. Yeah. What? And then when I told him that your wife, her ass will be one mile, he was like, huh? Who? And then I told him, don't worry, Allah will not allow her to sit in the top of you and smash you. He was, okay, I'm relieved now. I feel better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then when I told him that you will have sex and stop, he said, this is too much. I cannot do that. And then I told him, don't worry, Allah will give you all the energy you need. So he said, Ooh, ha, 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 ha. that's what I am looking for. So I can do it non-stop, huh? And then when I told him that those women, each time you do boom, boom to them, they will become virgins. He said, uh, hmm, you think I'm a fool? I just step with her. So how she is virgin again? <laughs> oh boy but we have to admit Allah must be a true God and it doesn't matter you believe it or not even if the stories of Allah make your eyes go red still Allah is God brother I mean who care it's obvious he is God isn't it I challenge you to prove that the story of Muhammad is fictions. 
It's true stories. All those are proven scientifically. Einstein, he can prove it. George Bernard Shaw can prove it. Actually, George Bernard Shaw, he says if the prophet was exist today, he can solve all the problems of the world in the morning while driving, drinking his coffee. And where we cannot find, we cannot find the statement of George Bernard Shaw saying such a thing in any of his books. As usual, fabrication of the Muslims. After a Christian prince, he died. The Muslim, they will say, Christian prince, he converted to Islam in the last day of his life, and he gave Allah a finger. <laughs> One of the funny things the Muslim, they do, when they say Shahada, they give Allah a finger. I will be happy to do so, but without saying Shahada, my friend. I give it to him every day. And as you see, this is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine. You have to be a certified idiot to believe in such a garbage. Don't forget to download the video, translate it, add subtitles, do as you wish. And with this I say to you, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all the evil and the fictions and the lies of people who try to deceive the naive one. You see, maybe you, me, we are educated. Those stories don't affect us. But the, the, the world is full of naive, poor people who believe in things. Those are the victims. So help us translate those videos. Share what you learned with those who need it, so nobody can fool them. We are not making fun of Muslims. We are making fun of the devil Muhammad, who tried to fool us, not only the Muslims. We are not a bunch of fools. God, he gave us a gift, and that gift is called the brain. So use it, or you lose it. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And this is a Christian prince who was with you sharing some of the garbage of Muhammad. Don't forget to wash your hands and wash your ears after you heard the Quran saying the stupidity. You don't want stupidity to be stuck in your ears. Genie, he's tape in your nose, piss in your ears, and jump in your mouth. Muhammad's statement, end of quotation, must be true. Thank you, Christ is Lord, and Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. See ya.